Reflection and Refraction. The reason you are able to see anything is because light reflects off objects. The way that light will reflect off an object depends on the object's surface. Let's take a look at what happens when light rays hit a rough surface. The light scatters in different directions. But when light hits a smooth surface, like this mirror, all of the rays go in one direction. The light bouncing off hits the mirror, then bounces right back in one direction. A property of light that we have not discussed yet is refraction the bending of light rays as they enter a new medium. There's a riddle that goes along with this one, and you can try it with your friends. Can you get this pencil to bend using only water? Sure, anyone can. Just watch. Ta-da! The pencil is bent, and all it took was placing the pencil in a glass of water. But did the pencil really bend? Well, no but it appears that way when it is partially submerged in the water. Why? As light passes from the air to water, it experiences a change in speed and the light bends. The same happens as the light goes back into the air. So the light rays, not the pencil, are actually bending and that changes our perception, how we see the pencil. If you have ever gone diving for objects at the bottom of a pool, you have seen this principle in action. When you look at the bottom of a pool, it appears as though it is here, right? But when you reach down, it is not where you thought it was at all. It's further back. That's because, just like with the pencil, the light rays have bent as they enter a new medium. Scientists use the principles of light bending for all kinds of things that make our life easier in the real world. Things like magnifying glasses, reading glasses, and even cameras.